Hi, I get asked a lot how I add the dash line to many of my projects that you see me post. And a lot of the times I do them by hand, but I do sometimes use the scan and cut machine to add dash lines. I have done previous videos showing how to do it. And if you look on the scan and cut canvas playlist, you'll probably find other videos. I also get asked, how do you use the Wi-Fi transfer? So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple shape, how to add a dash line that you can draw with your scan and cut machine and how to transfer the design wirelessly to your machine and how to retrieve it. So I hope you'll find this helpful. The first thing I'm going to do is come over to the basic shapes and grab a rectangle. I'm not worried about the size of it. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And then I'm going to grab a circle, but I am going to make the circle one inch. So with the maintain aspect ratio selected, I'm just going to highlight this number here and type one and hit enter on my keyboard. And that's now given me a one inch circle. Just going to zoom in on this rectangle. So what I want to do now, I want to position this middle blue dot that's on the top of this circle in the corner of my rectangle and then using the arrows on my keyboard I'm going to move it up until these dots here line up with this top edge of the rectangle and that way hopefully I'll know that it's fairly centered. With that in place I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to bring the middle circle down on the top of the circle and place it on the corner and then using the up arrow on the keyboard I'm going to take it up until these two blue dots line up with this top edge. Now they should hopefully be in place. So with this circle selected I'm going to hold the shift key and then select the other circle and then right click and make them a group. Now with those as a group I'm going to right click and duplicate and then I'm going to bring these down and I'm going to do the same. So I could do it by eye, position them so that I hopefully think that this corner is in the middle. But just to make sure, I'm going to right click and ungroup them, select the circle and then just look where these blue dots are. So I need to move that one over a bit and this one down. And then do the same with this one. This one looks fairly central, just move it over a little bit. And again, I think it just needs to come down. So those circles should now be on the corners of the rectangle. I'm going to hold, uh, select this top one that's a group, hold the shift key, select this one and then select this one and then make all those four circles one group. Now the rectangles on top, I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and go to edit subtract and that should punch the circles out so that's given me my basic shape now I just need to come back I'll come to the mat and I just need to get one more circle and again I'm going to size it down to one inch and say enter and then this time I'm going to bring it up over here I'll just zoom in again on this middle section and where these centre blue dots are, I want those just to line up with the inside edge of this rectangle. So I'm just going to use the arrow on the keyboard so that the blue dot here and the blue dot here are on the inside line. And then this circle, I want fairly centred to this line. So I'm just going to bring it down using the arrows on the keyboard to get it fairly central. Then with it selected, I'm going to right click and make a duplicate and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to position it so this blue dot and this blue dot are on this inside black line. And then I'm just going to use the arrow on my keyboard to bring them down to get them into place. And then to be absolutely sure that they're in the middle, with one selected, I'm going to hold the shift key down, select the other, right click and make them a group. And then I'm going to select both so this group and the shape and I'm going to come to edit center and edit middle and then this time I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and I'm going to get to edit 
weld. And that's now given me my basic classic label shape. So I'm going to come fit to mat. Then with this selected, in fact, I'm just going to undo that. So I'm going to select this, right click and hit duplicate and put that there. This is just an alternative way to add a bit more extra detail to your shape. So with this one selected, I'm going to come to edit and weld. So that's now given me that shape and that's given me this shape. I'm going to select this first one. I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make it a cut line and leave it as a straight line. Then with it selected, I'm going to come to edit, come to the offset icon. I'm going to take it down to about 0.12 and say inward and say OK. And then I'm going to select the inward shape, come to the properties box make it a draw line and then assign a dash line. I'm going to assign this one. So the outside one is a cut line and the inside one is a dash line. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both and go edit group or you can right click and do group. Then I'm going to do the same with this one. So with this one selected, I'm going to come to the properties box, make it a cut line, leave it as a straight line with it still selected, I'm going to come to Edit, Offset, take the offset down to about 0.12 and say Inward and say OK. Select the inner one, come back to the Properties box, assign it as a draw line and choose my dash line and I like this one and close it down. So the outside, just to recap, is a cut line and the inside is a draw line. I'm going to select both, right click and group. And there are two classic label shapes which you would now come over here and give a name and save and say OK. Now I've already got a project saved so I'm going to come to my scan and cut projects because I only want to cut one in the video. I'm going to come to my projects and here is my label. So I'm just going to open it and this is the one I've already done. I'll just zoom in and you can see it's there. So I've already given it a label. I've called it classic label. I'm going to hit the download button. When this box pops up, I'm going to use the Wi-Fi transfer. So I'm going to click on here where it says scan and cut transfer and once this box comes up I know that the design has been sent over to my scan and cut machine so I can close it down and then now I'm going to go over to the machine and show you how to retrieve it and how to draw and cut it. Okay so I've started up the scan and cut machine and I've put a piece of plain white card on the mat just to save some time. I'm going to go into patterns and then I'm going to come to the Wi-Fi transfer. Now, when you switch this on, if you use Wi-Fi transfer, if this blue Wi-Fi signal is still flashing, wait for it to turn a solid blue. And that means that your design has come over from Scan and Cut Canvas. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into Retrieve My Design from Canvas wait for it to come up on the mat and there it is and the first thing I'm going to do is save it I'm just going to put it in the machine for now and wait for it to save and it's telling me where it's saved it and it always saves it to the last one so if I click the home button now and say delete and go to patterns and go to saved data and into the machine and just scroll to the last page it will be there so I'm going to say OK to put it on the mat and OK again. Now in Canvas, I assigned a cut line and a draw line. So I'm going to do the draw line first. So I'm going to say OK and draw. And it should now hopefully draw that dash line for me on this piece of white card. So I'm loading up the mat, I'm going to get my universal pen holder 
and just take a black pen, I think for now. Put the pen holder into the cradle and drop the pen in and lock it into place. And if you want to see a more in-depth video on this universal pen holder, go to my channel, go to the playlists and look in the live video playlist and you should find a video I did all about this. So I'm going to take the blade out and drop the pen in. And I'm going to say draw and go. Okay, so that's drawn the label design with the dash line. I'm going to take the pen out, put the blade back in. Say OK to finish drawing and now I'm going to say cut and hopefully it's going to cut my line that I assigned in canvas. OK, so that's done. So it's cut the label and it's added the dash line. OK, so there's our design. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.